welcome to this new section in where we are going to learn about database connection which is one of the most important topic in any GIS project and in this lecture we are going to learn what is database connection and types of database connection database connection means connect to database it could be attribute table with another attribute table or attribute table with another DBF file or it could be attribute table with another Excel file yes it means create the connection between two database simply so this is database connection and there are two types of database connection we can create in attribute table of arcmap one is join table and another one is relate table but most of us don't know the differences between join and relate these two are not the same join means join two table as one table so in this connection two attribute table or one attribute and another excel file will be joined and create a new table this is join table and relate table means create the relation between two table it does not mean it will create another new table by combined these two tables by using join we can create another new table by combined those two tables and in relate those two tables will be separated but it will create the relation link between these two tables let me show you in our previous section we have created a dbf file which is case study 2 let's open this in here let's see the attributes inside this table sub region count minimum population maximum population average population now let's open the us state file from where we have created this case study attribute table in here we have many attributes but we don't have these attributes inside us state there are one common field inside these two attribute tables which is sub region this one is exist also in case study 2 table and also inside this us state table so this is the common field so when we are going to use join and relate option definitely we should have a common field between these two tables now let's see what will be happen if we join these two tables we will learn in our further lecture how to join and how to relate uh, what are the steps but in this lecture we will learn what is join what is relate and what is database connection let me show you after joining these two tables the result will be this one so after joining it will create a new table instead of previous USA state in where we can see the change inside this table the column has been changed with this name USA state dot subregion USA state dot FID and in here we have added few new fields from case study 2 we can identify this with this name case study 2 dot sub region case study 2 dot minimum population these are added from case study 2 attribute table so by using join option we have created a new table instead previous one so in this way we have added few new columns this is join let's remove this now let's see what will be happen if we relate these two tables after using relate option the database or attribute table will be same as like previous see us state it is same as like previous case study 2 it is same so what is the relation between these two table we can identify this if we go table option and click related table after using relate option it will create a relation link inside this table option by using which we can identify the related table between this existing attribute see now we are watching this us state now if we click this table option and click relate one it will open the table which is related with us state now it has been opened case study two. click show all by default it will choose show selected records now it has been open case study 2 
again if we click relate it will open the related table with case study 2 which is USA state now it has been opened USA state again if we click relate when we have opened USA state it will open the related table with USA state which is case study 2 so these are the differences between joint table and relate table joint table means combine two tables as a one table and relate table means create the relation between two tables only hope all of you have understand this issue this lecture is a theoretical lecture so you don't need to do any practical task just watch this and understand the issue between join and relate in our further lectures we will do some practical how to join two attribute tables and how to join attribute table with an excel files and how to relate to table we will learn the steps till then enjoy gis